Welcome to another Q&A session with me, Heather Ackman. This question comes in from a fellow YouTuber and Microsoft MVP, Crystal Long, who specializes in databases. Her question here, left in the comments area of the video, Create Stunning Graphics in PowerPoint, asks, what is the icon on the QAT or Quick Access Toolbar to show the selection pane called? And is there a ribbon way to do that too? Excellent questions, Crystal. And the first one, you kind of answered yourself. Skipping over to PowerPoint here, this button, if I hover my mouse right over it, this button, the name for it, I believe is just that, the selection pane button. I don't really think there is another name for it. It opens what is known as the selection pane. As for the ribbon way to find that selection pane, there are a few ways to find it. The first way is from your home tab. In the drawing group, you'll see this little button here called the arrange button. Clicking on that all the way towards the bottom, there it is, selection pane. Clicking on that, we'll open that pane all the way to the right. The second location for finding the selection pane is on a contextual tab that appears whenever you insert a shape. So inserting a shape, there's the drawing tools contextual tab and in the arrange group, click on selection pane to open that pane. And for newer versions of PowerPoint, the ones that include the tell me search box located at the very top of the bar. In fact, let me, uh, I'm recording at a very low resolution. Let me get rid of that shape there. There's the tell me box. You can type in any command. If I were to type selection pane, There it is at the very top. You don't even have to finish typing the word display the selection pane. You can click to open it or you can right click any command and at the very top, add to quick access toolbar. Mine's shaded gray because I already have added it to my quick access toolbar. But clicking add to quick access toolbar, that's a really fast way to add it to that area. So it's very convenient to find if it's something that you use frequently but I love using the selection pane. In fact, it is one of the staples that I use. In fact, if I have a lot of shapes, especially shapes that overlap, it helps me to distinguish between one object or another, or one rectangle or another. As you saw in the previous video, I was using this pane a lot to rename objects. So if I have a blue, rectangle and a red rectangle, I can sit there and name those objects right from the selection pane. And that just helps me distinguish which one is what. You can also use this pane to reorder objects. So if I want the red rectangle to appear behind the blue rectangle, I can use these arrows to rearrange or change the Z order of those shapes. If you are working in PowerPoint with many objects, many layers on top of each other, you can even use this pane to show or hide specific objects while you are working. Very handy if you're working with a lot of animations. It will clean up the animation pane to help distinguish exactly what you are working on at that time. So the selection pane, as you can see, I don't have too many actions or commands in this QAT, but that is definitely one of them for me. I use it a lot. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching and thank you for your question, Crystal.